Jamie, clearly a bitterly disappointing night for you and your players. Can you just give us your initial assessment? Yeah, yes, it is. Um, obviously, it was a poor performance from us. Uh, Leeds were very good. I think tonight, more or less, everything uh, what you should not do, uh, we have done. We conceded a very easy, avoidable goal very early in the game. Uh, the second one as well was an absolutely predictable uh, situation where the players defended very well in the first leg, exactly the situation this channel uh, in, in terms of shuffling over and defend, defend the channel. Now we switched off for a second and got punished. Then we had the situation with Josh where we maybe can get some positive energy back, come back into the game, haven't used and obviously uh, then we concede the third one. Uh, as I said, more or less everything what we um, should not have done, we did today. Uh, in the duels, we were second best as well. And at the end of the day, it's a very disappointing uh, evening, a visit, very disappointing end of the season, obviously, as well. But uh, against Leeds away, we have known you, you have to stay in the game um, as long as you can, and then you can. Uh, get something out of the game, but uh, we have done more or less exactly the opposite with conceding early and conceding three in, in, in one half. Um, this is uh, then more or less impossible to, to turn. As you say, particularly the first two goals, we were in the first 20 minutes, I'm sure, you know, the game plan here is to try and, as you said, on Sunday, every second you stay in the game is, is a minute in your favour and the complete opposite from experienced players as well as a head coach watching that. Can you legislate for that? Can you explain that? Yeah, listen, at the end of the day, uh, you, you never know what uh, occasions like this, situations like this uh, make with individuals. Um, what I can say, I uh, even if tonight it doesn't count, um, I, I like to thank every, every player, every staff member for the last 10 months uh, for the effort which they brought on the pitch. Uh, but tonight we were poor. This is uh, the truth in the game, uh, which was, uh, yeah. A big one, another big one, a huge one, great occasion uh, where we were not able, where we were not able to come to our to our level, unfortunately. And um, yeah, this is one of the reason. But the other reason is we have to be uh, say the truth as well. Uh, Leeds were very good, uh, and obviously you had to make some big calls. You know, was Barnes Sergeant Rowe was at the magnitude of the game it really was a last chance there is no you know tomorrow if you don't get it right is that why you went with that tonight? yeah exactly so uh, big credit to, to all of them uh, that they really wanted to help wanted to to wear the yellow shirt and try to um, do everything to push us into Wembley uh, Barnsley I think um, if you consider what he has done in the last uh, two and a half three weeks uh, what was more or less nothing that he Worked his stocks off today. Uh, is was um, top class. Obviously, Josh was not able to continue in half time uh, with his foot, and uh, uh, Johnny Rowe obviously made his second start uh, after January. So we 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 have and we had our problems the whole season. Everybody knows it. Um, but the the character of the players. Um, before this game was clear, they wanted to uh, try everything uh, to support, to help. But unfortunately, uh, we were not good enough tonight. I mean, we goes without saying, we can imagine what the, what the mood is in the dressing room. Can you give us any sense? Have you said anything to the players, you know, since full time? Yeah, obviously, it's uh, very quiet at the moment. Um, I, I haven't really spoken about the game because I think uh, uh, this at this moment makes no sense uh, the disappointing is uh, disappointment is too big we will see us tomorrow morning again uh, before we go um, into the off season and uh, then i will say some words to them and, and for you as well i mean um, you know this will take a f quite a period maybe to, to 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 process i mean will you just need to get away and get your head straight and then how will it play out from here will you have to sit down with your coaches with ben and do a full audit yeah, for sure. We will have uh, uh, um, some conversations and the meetings as well, uh, uh, as well, like always after every season. But um, it was a very exhausting season. This is the truth. Um, a very strange season. A season where 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 so many things were were on it. Even for me as an experienced manager, it was not a a, a normal season. Let's say. Um, 
at, at the end of the day, uh, now uh, it's over. Uh, quite uh, quite quick. Then uh, it was always um, yeah the possibility that it uh, continues or not. Uh, unfortunately, it does not comp uh, comp continue now. And uh, for myself as well, um, yeah, it's very disappointing. And you said there, I mean, it, it has been an exhausting season. And on a personal level, you have had uh, periods of this really, I mean, you I think you came up with the phrase, your back was against the wall in, in time, terms of periods of this season. Will you need to go away and have a, a think and reflect? I mean, whether you have the energy and you know the desire to have a, another crack at this here with this club? You are at the end of the day, to be fair for me, um, I said this quite often, um, everything what happened uh, was more or less for me uh, clear to see there were reasons for it and um, I always told the truth and uh, this is um, obviously uh, something which is quite important to, to, to always reflect so uh, it's not that you reflect never over a season you always reflect uh, every week every day and I think this is one of the reasons why we recovered in the way uh, how we recovered uh, so I said this more often be credit to the players um, and to the staff and everyone uh, that they really uh, fought and, and uh, stuck together and pushed um, to recover. Unfortunately, um, this fairy, uh, fairy tale uh, does not have a happy end. Uh, even if I have to say, and, uh, and I like to say, uh, and I said this before, um, the effort and, and, and the attitude which everybody has shown in the last 10 months is, um, was, was very good. And as an experienced head coach as you are, I mean, where would, where would you place this type of disappointment? Is it right, right down there in terms of your career now? How are you feeling at the moment? Yeah, it's 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 a low, absolutely is. Uh, but yeah, it's life and it's football. You have some 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 downs and you have some ups as well. Um, not only in a game, not only in the season, um, over a, a longer period as well. Uh, but I think if you if you consider where we come from uh, last season, finished thirteenth. Um, now made a step, uh, finishing the playoffs, um, competitive in the first leg, absolutely not competitive in the second leg, uh, against a very good lead side. Everybody has seen uh, what they are capable of doing. With a lot of problems which we had in this season, um, listen, at the end of the day, I got told in the winter transfer window we have 11% chance uh, finishing in the playoffs. Uh, the group of players have done it. Um, this was good, and uh, unfortunately, the the next step, the final step, we haven't done. And I think uh, there is a reason for this as well. And um, everybody has, everyone has seen uh, tonight the difference between Leeds United, uh, Leeds United, and us. Yeah, just final one for me on, on, on that point. And it, it's obviously will play out now over the weeks ahead. But does it feel like it, there needs to be a refresh with the squad? I know there will be one anyway. You have players out of contract. But to, as you say, take that next step now, build on what you've done this season. Does it need a refresh, do you feel? Yeah, of course. But this is uh, obviously more or less after every season uh, that it makes sense to, to refresh your your team, get fresh blood, uh, blood fr fresh energy into a team. And this naturally will have uh, will happen. Um, and this will happen in, in this summer for sure as well. Thanks, David. Thanks. David, is it fair to say you and the club had a plan of what would happen if you didn't go up uh, already discussed or is it something that wasn't really contemplated until it actually happened? Um, no, we not really had uh, uh, conversations about uh, both scenarios so far. And just finally on uh, Josh Sargent, he came off the full time. How, how fit was he? And also, how does it look for the summer? Because I'm sure he'll be hoping he can get away with the US. Yeah, at the end of the day, uh, uh, that we managed him more or less uh, the whole time since he is back from his injury, I think everybody knows this. Uh, big big cr uh, credit to Josh, um, what he has done, uh, how hard he worked. Um, what does it mean now um, for the summer? To be fair, at the minute I have no idea. There will be for sure some further investigations and assessment on him. And then we have to see uh, how serious and is and, and what he has to do to to come back to his best uh, in preseason.
Anybody else? Justin, can you let us ask you how much longer you have personally to lead this team next season? Yeah, obviously, um, this is, I think, uh, a first step which we have done, uh, as I said, from, from, from last season to, to this season. Um, I think everybody knows uh, you will not switch everything uh, in one window or two windows. Uh, I think uh, a first step, a good step is done, uh, but there's a lot of work to do. This is the truth as well. I think uh, you see how competitive this league is. Uh, I know expectations are always super high, but uh, I think it makes sense to um, yeah, be realistic as well. Uh, look on uh, other big clubs uh, in this uh, division, uh, how they finished this season. Look on all the clubs who were in the playoffs last season. Uh, no one of them is in the playoffs the, this season or was in the playoffs this season. Nothing is for granted. You have to work very, very hard uh, to make them further steps. And obviously, um, this is the same. Last one, Jonathan. Did you discuss what role the crowd might play in tonight's game? And do you feel they did play a role in the way things went? Who? The crowd, the stadium. Yeah, obviously, uh, we have known uh, how it uh, will be. Um, this was now not, not a surprise. Um, unfortunately, uh, we extend their energy with the mistakes which we've done and with, with the goals which uh, Leeds United scored. Yeah, thanks everybody. Thanks everybody. Thank you.